Hi everyone, my name is Mario and we're in the West End in District 6. Um, today we're going to meet some of our public health nursing team members. We're going to learn about their services and um, take a deep dive into our community health rep program, which is uh, about community members who take care of us. And so come with me as we learn about their program today. Shannon, thank you for being with us today. For, um, for people who don't know, uh, can I have you introduce yourself, please? Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. My name is Shannon Barton. I'm a registered nurse with the Public Health Nursing Department, and I have been with Gila River Healthcare for the last 15 years. Well, thank you, Shannon, for being with us. Uh, maybe could we start with, uh, with you giving us an overview of public health nursing? Sure. So um, in our department, we are compromised of five teams um, throughout the seven districts. And uh, on each team, we have one RN field nursing supervisor, uh, an LPN, and two community health representatives. And we provide um, nursing education out in the community to better uh, the health of our people. Shannon, thank you for that. Um, now, can we talk about, you know, your role as an RN on the team? Kind of, what, what do you specifically focus on? So as the RN um, here in District 6 and 7, I also um, work as the field supervisor and oversee a team of two LPNs and two community health representatives. During a home visit, um, we'll receive a referral from the provider and we like to um, do a chart review, which will compromise reviewing the medical records, reviewing their medication list, get a feel for the patient of what's going on prior to going out to the home. Um, we'll initially call and make contact via telephone and schedule an appointment with the patient or a family member. During that home, initial home visit, we'll do a full head-to-toe assessment, which includes vital signs, and um, discuss the disease process that they're um, needing help with. And with that information that we obtained during the initial assessment, we'll go back and coordinate services with the provider or care coordination uh, department in the clinic. Well, Shannon, thank you for your time. That was some great information. I hope you have a good day. Thank you, Mario, for having us. We appreciate it. Okay, hey everyone. So now we're here with Jennifer, one of our LPNs. Hi, good morning, Mario. Thank you for having me. I am Jennifer's son. I work with District 4 Public Health Nursing. I've been with Public Health for six years. Well, thank you, Jennifer, for that. As an LPN, can you tell us a little bit more about your role and um, how do you function in the team? Sure, Mario. As a licensed practical nurse, we take direction from our RN supervisor. As far as, you know, she'll delegate as to which referrals that come in or which, you know, what we need to do as our scope of practice and go out and do home visits. As far as medication education, welfare checks, education of their health needs, also, you know, any kind of needs that they need in their home. We'll go do um, home safety evaluations. Whatever, you know, the referrals come in as, we provide services according to the referral, which are and delegates to the LPNs and the CHRs. Well, Jennifer, thank you for that. You know, I understand that public health nursing has played a major role in the care of our um, patients that were COVID positive in the community. Maybe can you talk about your experience and uh, some of the things you did? Sure, Mario. As the public health team, we um, went out as LPNs, RNs, the CHRs, we all um, went out and did home COVID tests. And when the referrals would come in for positive COVID patients, we would do our contract tracing and contact the patients and also go through the symptoms, what they needed to know about the COVID, being home, and also asking what needs they had at the home so that we could provide for their services as far as like food or cleaning supplies, things like that. And then just teaching them about the safety, the CDC precautions as well, you know, as in the home settings. Well, Jennifer, thank you for that information. It was some good stuff and we appreciate all your services. Have a good one. Okay, hey everyone. So now we're joined by our public health nursing director, Rima, and I'm gonna have her introduce herself. My name is Rima Metz. I'm the Director of Public Health Nursing for Gila River Healthcare. So another very unique program uh, that I've been learning about spending time with you guys is our community health reps. Can you talk a little bit about how important it is uh, for them, you know, being from the community um, in their roles uh, with helping you? So the CHR program is very important because they help establish the trust between 
um, the healthcare system and the, and the community. The CHRs are from the community, so when they approach a person in their home, the person is more um, welcoming to them because they're from the community and they know them. Um, they have a lot of respect and trust from the community. I can share with you some of the stuff the team has been doing during this pandemic. Um, of course, we're still making home visits. Some of the um, at-risk people that are homebound or isolated, the nurses have been doing a lot of lab draws in the home, you know, drawing blood in the home setting and bringing it back to the hospital. So there, there's a continuity of care. Um, so the, the nurses have also, in, in collaboration with EMS, they've gone out to the homes of those homebound, the isolated, and they've provided the COVID vaccinations um, in the home setting. We've done about 180 COVID vaccinations in the home. And now with um, the flu season, we'll also be going back out to those same people, maybe offering the third booster along with the flu vaccination at the same time. We've been very, very busy during this, um, this whole COVID pandemic. And, you know, I'm just very proud of them. I'm, I'm uh, honored to work with them. If I ask them to do a little bit more, they're always there and willing to do it and especially the CHRs because this is their community and they always step up to help when they're asked. Well, Rima, that was some great information. Thank you very much. Have a good one. So now we're going to meet with Claire, who is another community health service rep, and we're going to talk about the services that they offer. So let's go meet her. Hi, Claire. Can I have you introduce yourself, please? Hello, my name is Claire Mix. I am a community health representative for District 3 with Public Health Nursing, and I am originally from District 4. So Claire, can you touch on how the community health reps assist the community with their health care needs? Okay, as a community health representative, how we help our community is by we um, do referrals. We refer them to um, the Life Center. We make sure they attend their appointments, and if they need um, things taken care of their home, we would um, contact District 3 Service Center. Those are just some of the departments we work with, but we, we also work with any department that the patient will need assistance with. As a community member, like what, what has really attracted you to this position? I'm gonna say for myself that it, make, it does make, us, make me feel like part of their family. Like I said, we gain that trust. They, you know, they count on us and it is such a wonderful feeling. <laughs> Well, Claire, thank you for your time today. You know, we, we really appreciate all the services you provide, especially to our elders um, and, and all of the communities. So uh, really happy um, to get to you know, learn more about your position. So thank you. Hi, Ashley, how you doing? Hi, Good to Ashley. see you. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Can I have you introduce yourself, please? Hello, my name is Ashley Thompson. I am the Community Health Representative for District 5. Well, Ashley, nice to meet you. Now, I understand you are a community health representative, which is a pretty unique program uh, for community members here. Can you maybe tell us a little bit about the program and your experience? The community health representative program was started in 1968, and it is a tribally contracted grant funded program and it consists of actual community members from within the tribe. For these past five years as a community health representative, I've learned many things about my own community. I've also grown attached to my patients because this isn't a health, I mean, this isn't inside a hospital setting, it's out in the community inside the homes. So it's more personal for these patients. You see them every day, you see them at least twice a week. So um, you develop a sense of familiarity with them you relate to them, you understand the family dynamics in the home. So Ashley, as a community member, like, what is it meant to you uh, being in this role? It's very privileged. I have learned many things about my community. When they need someone to talk to, I'm there for them. I'm a phone call away, even if it's just for a minute or two. Especially in this pandemic, it's rattled every family and they need that support emotionally. Well, Ashley, thank you very much for your time today. We appreciate it and have a good one. Thank you. So huge thanks to our public health nursing team for all the information they shared today. 
If you want information on um, how to contact them, stay until the end of the video. And until next time, have a great one.